Bobby Petrino was hired by Jimbo Fisher to fix Texas A&M's offense. And one of the biggest storylines going into the upcoming college football season this year is if Bobby Petrino and Jimbo Fisher are going to be able to coexist. So let me throw out a hypothetical scenario for y'all, right? What if Bobby Petrino this season, what if he actually is able to fix Texas A&M's offense? Imagine Bobby Petrino comes in, he gets Texas A&M's offense playing at a top 15, top 20 level. How good will the Aggies be? How far can they go this season? Because I'm going to be dead honest with y'all. If Texas A&M, their offense plays at a top 10, top 15, top 20 level this year, I think they're going to be able to win the SEC West. And you may call me crazy. You may be saying, Stay JT. Off the weed. But I'm dead serious about this. I'm dead serious that if Bobby Petrino fixes Texas A&M's offense, this team, not only can they win the SEC West, but they might be able to make it to the college football playoffs. Think about it. Texas A&M, you already know that they're going to have a good defense. Their defense was really good last year. And you got to remember that their defense was held back by their lack of offense. Oh, how was that, JT? How does the offense impact the defense? Well, I think it's a little bit of common sense. If your offense is going three and out and can't sustain drives, your defense is going to be on the field for way more plays than what they would be if the offense was actually efficient. So Bobby Petrino comes in, fixes Texas A&M's offense. That's going to help their defense out because their defense is going to have more time to recollect themselves on the sideline because they're not going to have to come in every 30 seconds after they get a stop because the offense just got done going three and out. So you're going to have elite defense with a great defensive line. You got Shamar, Turner, Walter Nolan, These are two of the most athletic defensive linemen in all of college football. You're going to have a really good secondary. You're going to have Damani Richardson at safety, Tariq Chappelle at cornerback. This is going to be incredible defense. If this offense figures it out, ooh, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, do not let Bobby Petrino fix Texas A&M's offense. Because they possibly could go undefeated. And I'm not over-exaggerating, people. You guys seem to forget that Texas A&M, over the last couple of their recruiting cycles, has brought in some of their best classes in program history. And most of those guys are still on the roster. They still have one of the top five, top seven best rosters in all of college football. I believe that they were top five last season and 247 Sports Team Talent Composite Rankings, which comprises every team's amount of five and four stars and three stars and pretty much puts them in order from most five and four stars to the least amount. And Texas A&M was top five. And when you look at the teams that make it into the college football playoffs, the majority of the times there are teams that have some of the best, most talented rosters in college football. Bobby Petrino fixes Texas A&M's offense. That means that Connor Wigman has a really great season. He potentially could be a Heisman contender. Jimbo Fisher is viewed in a new light. The fact that he was able to give away play calling, put his ego aside to do so, and it worked out, makes him look even better. Texas A&M makes it to the SEC championship game. Potentially, they could make it into the college football playoffs. And then, Bobby Petrino, with him fixing Texas A&M's offense, without a doubt, He's going to win the Broyles Award. There's no way that Bobby Petrino, if he fixes Texas A&M's offense, doesn't win the Broyles Award because everybody will be talking about it. That would make him the best assistant in college football because he will be on the team that most people will be talking about. Let's be honest, when Texas A&M is good, everybody's on their bandwagon. Everybody's talking about them most of the times. Texas A&M is one of those programs that you look at and they draw a lot of attention, a lot of viewership. So, of course, Bobby Petrino fixes the offense. It's going to be similar to how everybody was talking about Joe Brady when he was the passing game coordinator the year that LSU won a national championship and he won the Bros Award. Bobby Petrino, if he fixes Texas A&M's offense this year, I think that Texas A&M, 
is going to win the SEC West. They're going to make it to the SEC championship game, and they potentially could end up making it into the college football playoffs. They have a really talented roster. They're going to have a really good quarterback in Connor Wigman. They have a fantastic group of wide receivers for him to throw the football. And plus, you're going to have an experienced and veteran group of offensive linemen starting for you this season. Bobby Petrino, if he fixes Texas A&M's offense, y'all better look out. Because the Texas A&M Aggies, they may just win it all this season. Talent isn't a question. They got plenty of it. Their question is, will Bobby Petrino be able to fix this offense? And if he does, I think they're going to have a very good season. As a matter of fact, they probably will end up having a great season. This would be one of those storybook seasons where Jimbo Fisher finds Bobby Petrino, brings him in as his OC. People question if it's going to work. They prove everybody wrong and it does end up working out. And Texas A&M has one of those seasons that you look back 10 decades from now and you say, damn, like Bobby Petrino and Jimbo Fisher really did that? Yeah. Yeah. I really have a lot of confidence in Bobby Petrino. And you look at Texas A&M's schedule, with Texas A&M having a legitimate offense, if this happens, tell me one team they have no chance at beating. You mean to tell me with a functional offense, they don't beat Miami on the road? I'm a Hurricanes fan. And even I'll have to give it to Texas A&M. You got Arkansas. With a better offense? You're going to crush Arkansas, and I love the Razorbacks, but with a functioning offense, I think that you probably beat Arkansas by at least two touchdowns. Then you got to play Alabama at home with the great offense led by Bobby Petrino. You can beat Alabama. You can beat Tennessee on the road. Tennessee didn't even know what defense was last season sometimes. South Carolina, they're like, what is that? Ole Miss, you play them on the road. With the great offense, you're going to beat them. You're going to beat Mississippi State. You're going to smash Auburn Christian. Now, LSU could go either way. Alabama also could go either way. But with a great offense led by Bobby Petrino, I don't see any reason why you don't end up being able to beat those teams or at least end up having one loss at the end of your schedule going into the SEC championship. So if Bobby Petrino fixes Texas A&M's offense in 2023, this team, I believe, will win the SEC West. I think they'll have the best quarterback in this conference due to Bobby Petrino's ability to get the most out of the quarterback position. We seem to forget that this dude helped develop Lamar Jackson into not just the Heisman Trophy winner, but a first-round pick. He also did the same thing with Arkansas legend Ryan Mallett. Rest in peace. Bobby Petrino... You better hope he doesn't fix Texas A&M's offense because if he does, this team can do a lot of the damage this season.